Shane Vidiata. I'm actually. Hi, Shane Vidiata. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and you said my last name perfectly. Nobody ever does that. So, A plus. I'm from Oakville originally and also live in Toronto. Um, I have no children, and this is partly why I'm here because this is not just a parent issue, this is a children human issue. And so more people need to understand this fight is not just the responsibility of parents. And we need to be coming together because this is not just about what happens today. This is not about what just happens in, in this next year. I have a nonprofit organization that fights human trafficking here in Canada and abroad. We have helped to amend the criminal code three times in this nation, which is a federal law, to crack down on human trafficking and perfect, or sorry, protect victims of human trafficking. The lovely Trudeau government has tried to dismantle some of those bills, which is a whole other conversation. But everything that is happening right now when you break down the family, when you break down the children, when you confuse children around gender and cause so much sexual trauma in them, they are more prone to fall victim to human trafficking. And the average age of entry in this country is 13 years old. 13, which means that's the average, which means there's so many younger ones, eight, nine. Some of these kids that I'm looking at, which is why I fight. And I've been doing this for 20 years, 14 years in this country. And so I am grateful to stand with each of you today. And as a takeaway, when you go home today and you say, who was at the walk? This isn't about me, you don't need to say my name. But share with them that people without children are here because this fight needs more of us. Negotiable in the in the sand, the line in the sand shirt. You can go on their Instagram. They've got great freedom gear. It's not mine, so go and support them. And so I wanted to come out and encourage each of you and thank each of you as parents and also these kids that are here. You guys are the little freedom fighters. There's my other friend who spoke before me saying we need to lay the foundation. We cannot be afraid to teach our children at a child appropriate level what is happening in our country. Because if children don't understand, you disempower them and they become more susceptible, there he is, more susceptible to what is happening in our country right now. So do not be afraid. And the more of us that keep speaking up and standing together, each of us, each of you here, inspire and encourage the other people to start standing up and they become less afraid because there's a lot to lose on the line there really is on both sides and i did hear earlier that this is not about politics which is true this is a human issue it doesn't matter if you are on the liberal party the ndp party we are all here as part of the freedom party literally right now is this man JD and as much as this is not a political issue we need to honor and support the politicians because let me tell you I mentioned earlier I've amended three criminal codes bills in this country we can do walks like this all day long if the politicians aren't changing legislation this is a major <laughs> hamster wheel and so they need our support we are the people, it is our voice that gets them into, well, supposed to get them into their, into their seats. That's a whole other conversation about elections. But traditionally, this is how it goes. So wherever your riding is, whoever your MP is, whoever your city councilor is, whoever is in, in the provincial government, we also need to be speaking out to them to say, thank you for standing up. You might be the only one, but we need your support. And more and more, we will start to make the federal, provincial, municipal changes that we need to actually protect these little ones. So, thank you guys. I'm really excited to be here.